go. What kind of blade is that? This here would be a grade 10 plus Covington blade. I don't believe it's been even resharpened. I think that's a first stage. Uh, the original length they made it. it doesn't appear to have any curve to it or anything. Real good s symmetry and uh, finished edge work. They might have used it once or twice, so you can see a little bit of wear here and there. But uh, that's pretty much a, a grade 10 Covington knife. I measured five and three eighths inches long. Another good example from Cypress Creek. Over here. I got the ever so sought after corner tang knife. This one would have been real special because, of course, it was uh, had quite the crescent shape to it. Has a tang sticking way out on the side. That's good. Probably was a bigger corner tang like you normally see at one time, and they resharpened it, and it would have had a hell of a curve. And actually, looks like it might have been fire damage is the reason of the break. So, uh, but that would have been a, a very valuable and rare knife, but a good sign to keep digging. And then third, you gonna wash it up? There's your purred right there in the hand. And that's good. Mm -hmm. And here's a real good example of a Montel point, which is found very near to the corner tang and middle archaic. Very Maybe translucent. Really translucent there. That's pretty. You can put it up to the sun, it's probably even more translucent. Yeah, that really, really good material for the Indians to use, and that's why they're here. And then we just had a Martindale here, I mean a Gower point, or something in between, but from the same time period. Really well flaked. Good for the time.